Welcome to Perry and Flax's Guide to Clockwork. You may look like someone took a fridge magnet, stuck googly eyes on it, and then dropped it in the cutlery drawer, but what a hero. What a hero! I love a hook, either clock or the fat man, because it's a chance to put your pride on the line. If you miss, you'll look like a goober. But if you hit, you look like a ruddy genius. I like that. Heroes where you just right-click them, eh, come on. A hook? A hook? A hook? From so far downtown? They speak another language? A hook? From so far downtown? You're back in uptown? A hook? From so far downtown? They're still laying the tarmac for the road. A hook? From so far downtown? You have to take three trains, two buses, and a complicated series of monorails to get there. What are we talking about? What's about a hook? From downtown? Talking about downtown, man. Clockwork calls himself a tin man battle plan. He's like your friendly neighborhood Terminator. The Terminator was a dude in a homemade suit who was shorter than most dogs. He's a sort of fantasy robot man thing. Apparently he's from the same kind of species as Gyrocopter and Sniper. They're called Keen. But which if you're playing against him, you can call them bastards because they're all annoying as hell. In my opinion, his design is inspired by the friendly clockwork robot TikTok in Return to Oz. The much maligned, but in my opinion, pretty awesome sequel to Wizard of Oz. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and give it a look. It's a kid's movie, but then again, so is Star Wars, but there are plenty of grown men who know their Z-95 from their B-Wing. His lore fits neatly onto the wheel of the BS Generator, which I've mentioned in a number of previous videos. The lazy, overpaid, feckless, and frankly, Oshio's writers at Valve HQ spin the wheel and then use spare boggle cubes to generate a backstory. In this case, he fits into last of his kind. Will is destroyed, father's dying wish, yada yada yada, he's an artisan of death, also goes by the moniker of Rattle Trap. Spells. All useful. All really, 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 really useful. Firstly, no passives. This is a good thing. Normally having a ton of passives is itself a good thing, because it means less buttons to press. Take Skeleton King as an example. I mean, Wraith King. Never forget, buddy. In this case, you need spells, and they're all easy to remember to cast. And as we've said before, the problem with passives is actually that they're rubbish. No flashy lights, nobody saying, wow, dude, that owned. Nothing. Nobody makes movies of people using awesome passives. Clockwork is a showy, flashy motherfucker. He shuns the passive. He shuns it like an unwanted child. Secondly, you get lots of time to click the buttons for his spells. Lots of time. There's no complex combo. You just push, at most, four buttons in sequence and you win. It's as easy as typing E-R-W-Q on the keyboard. Let's just try that right now. Fuck. All right, hold on. Fuck! All right, hold on. Just that easy. It's just that easy. The sequence is the same as the sequence. I shall now tell you about the sequence of the spells in sequence. Number one, Rocket Flare. Shoots a, you guessed it, Rocket Flare across the map. This is OP as fuck. Not only gives vision for the whole flight time, it's also a little bit of damage. You can help finish off nearby dead enemies, harass retreating ones, kill creeps, help push lanes. You can even block creep camps from spawning. You can even provide a cheap fireworks display for poor people and orphans. How insane is that? It's so insane it should probably cost more than 50 fucking mana. It should be renamed Cockhead Flare. It's that annoying. Hookshot. This is Clockwork's signature move. Except for the fact Pudge also has a hook. But besides that, it's his signature move. The difference between the fat man's get over here hook and Clock's is that Clockwork fearlessly throws himself at the enemy. If he was so inclined, he'd probably say something like, gnarly hookshot, dude, and do that weird hang tight thing, or hang loose, or whatever it is, sign with his hands like surfers. He's extreme, to the extreme. Why would anybody do such a thing, you ask? Who would be so foolish? Well, a guy with two OP spells up his tinfoil sleeves, that's who. Clockwork is probably the bravest, most balls-to-the-wall robot suit-wearing dwarf creature that's ever done those things that he does. He hooks, and then boom, power cogs. Bitch! It may sound like a piece of bodybuilding equipment you'd buy on a home shopping channel and instantly regret, but in fact, Power Cogs owns. You can trap people in the cogs. You can annoy people outside the cogs. And if you're anything like me, you run into them over and over and over again like a brain-damaged lab rat. The lab rat who's so far outside the standard distribution of rat intellect that they'll wonder whether you're a rat at all or just some kind of big fucking hamster. They might end up doing special how stupid is this stupid rat anyway experiments. That's me when I see power cogs. I run at them. I run at them. I don't get the cheese reward for running around them.
Then you hit him with something that sounds like what your cellmate is in for. Battery assault. From hidden crevices in Clockwork's armor, tiny guns spew forth hot lead death. Ouch, right? Yeah, ouch. It's one of the most annoying, most damaging spells in the game if you can land all the little tiny bullets on one dude. And with the hook-cogs combo, that's not non-doable. And no, I'm not winding you up. It's a clockwork joke. What items do you get on clockwork? In my opinion, it doesn't really matter because he's awesome anyway. But you can get a mac on him so you don't die so much. You can get blade mail so you can lock someone in. It's like trapping him in an exploding barrel with a gun-toting robot hedgehog. Checkmate, motherfucker! Also, he's a legit scepter getter because it makes hookshot cooldown so low nobody will laugh when you miss one. Nobody. So you can throw zoning hooks out. Funic is one of the best pro clockworks out there, but the main man, in my opinion, is Bulba. If you want to know how to handle a clock, ask Sam. He loves clock. He can show you his clock any time. You'll say, that's a nice clock. Girls go wild for Sam's clock. It sounds like cock, so I'm making a joke about that. The end!